Hi guys, Trust Ted here, Tesla owner, Silicon Valley. I have a, another review for you, but this is going to be a little different. This is going to be educational and a review. And what I'm going to be talking to you about is how to extend the range of your Tesla and any electric vehicle, really. Um, I've seen all kinds of videos that are just ridiculous. Don't use your heat or AC, uh, you know, draft behind other cars, uh, go into chill mode. Uh, the point is you buy the car to enjoy it, but there is something that you can do, and that is go to lighter wheels. So um, this, uh, what I'll be doing is sort of explaining short, you know, briefly why that's the case, and then we'll be going into the review. Okay, I want to explain really quickly why reducing the weight of the wheels gets you more range. And it has to do with uh, three weights that are associated with the vehicle, unsprung weight, sprung weight, and I'll show you shortly the rotational mass. But basically, sprung weight is anything that's held up by the suspension of the vehicle, which obviously is a lot of weight. It's the body of the car and so on unsprung weight is actually more critical to reduce. Uh, this is anything below the suspension, so this is going to be the wheels, the tires, brakes, and so on. It turns out that unsprung weight, when you reduce a pound of it, it's roughly equivalent to reducing like four times the sprung weight. Uh, we're going to link to an article below if you really want to see more information on that. And the other one that I just want to again show you is rotational mass. So uh, this is just as it sounds. Again, apologize for the bad drawing here, but basically the less energy, the less weight on the vehicle, the wheel, uh, the, the easier it is for the car to turn. And again, the less energy you have to turn means it's more efficient. So this is the background. And what you're gonna find is that fully forged wheels are actually the best wheels to go with for lighter weight and lighter rotational mass. Hey guys, Trust Ted here, Tesla owner, Silicon Valley, with another review. Um, you can see what I have behind me here is my Model Y performance with the 21 inch Uber Turbine wheels. And so I'm gonna be taking this out and doing a range test and also audio test. And the reason that we're going to do that is we're going to be comparing these rims and tires to the Martian rims and tires. So uh, this will happen over several days, but obviously we'll be putting this all together for you and, and giving you our ratings as always. So really excited to uh, be you know bringing this all together for you. Hey guys, I'm going to be taking my Model Y with a, a stock. 21 inch uber turbine wheels on a range test so i'm going to be driving 10.3 miles on the highway and 5.7 in the city so a total of 16 miles and we'll be doing that lip loop multiple times and i'm gonna get the average consumption and then we're going to try that with the martian wheels and tires hey guys I'm at the tire shop, actually Skip's Tire. You can see the tires in the back seat here. I'm gonna be changing out my 21 inch Uber turbine for the Martian wheels. I've actually also recorded on the screen the trips. Uh, I guess I'll show you that real quick. Um, so you can see sort of like my history of the 21 inch wheels. Um, for reference, the control case that I did, it's a 256 kilowatt hour um, or excuse me, watt hour per mile. So that's the control test and we'll put the Martians on and then we'll see how the efficiency is then. I changed out the wheels and I just wanted to show you that I um, renamed and reset my energy guide here. So uh, I'll be able to keep track for him from a historical perspective. But my first impression I'll tell you already is that it's the car feels lighter. I know that sounds crazy, but it does. All right, so I've taken three trips with the 21 inch stock Uber turbine wheels, and we recorded what the consumption was. And now I'm going to take three trips, same exact route with the Martian wheels and tires, the MW03s, and then we'll check what that consumption is. Just an example of the road that I'm going on. This is the highway part, obviously. 
obviously, and then I'll be transitioning to the city part. I thought I'd also share some reasons why I actually selected these Martian rims. First is these are fully forged. And one of the things that I learned is fully forged wheels are really the strongest and the lightest. And it's different than other processes. So um, make sure that you know that's something that you look at is the weight of your uh, existing wheels and then whatever you're looking at, make sure that they're lighter. I also really like the fact that these wheels, uh, I'm gonna show you a photo here and hopefully you can see it reasonably well. There's a kind of like this ribbing or corrugation on the inside of the rim. And that is actually to help the tire grip, especially with all the torque that EVs have. Um, you actually, if you actually had enough torque, the tire actually might slip inside the rim. And that ribbing will really help prevent that from happening. So, so that was a big factor. Uh, Martian actually, not only do they sell the rims, you can just buy them, or you can have them mount the wheels uh, with the Tesla TPS sensor, everything. So uh, I think that that's a good thing to do. And um, so, you know, the bottom line here is these things are improving the range and the efficiency. So I just wanted to share these reasons. And also, obviously they look amazing. Okay, I wanna share with everybody the results here of the multiple drives. So again, we have the 21 inch Uber Turbine wheels and then the 20 inch Martian MW03s. So each of these routes, this is a, uh, a trip out and then back. Each one of these is 16 total miles, 10.3 highway and 5.7 on the city. The route actually has 52 feet of elevation change. So on the way outs, those are downhills, and then the way back, it's uphill. And so it's uh, you'll see that uh, for both wheels, the downhill is less than the uphill. What's really interesting is that the downhill is extremely similar for the both wheels, but where the Martian wheels really shine is on the uphill. It takes quite a bit less energy on the uphills, and that makes sense because there's less rotational mass, and so it takes less energy to overcome the forces of gravity. So the, the net net, as I like to say, is that the average for the stock 21 inch Uber turbine is 256.2 watt hour per mile on this, this route. And then for the Martian wheels, it's 246.5. And that's just about a, that's a 4% improvement, which is gonna result in more range. So let's wrap this up next. Okay, before I wrap up the video, I also just thought it would be very interesting to look at the lifetime driven on the 21 inch Uber turbine wheels was 278 watt hour per mile. And then if you look here, I've got just over 800 miles on the Martian 20 inch rims and the consumption there, that's the green circle, 263. So that is actually over 5%, close to 6% improvement. So really interesting, right, that the controlled case, which was only controlled to the effect that I could, you know, obviously can't control traffic and so on, um, that showed just about 4%. This is showing almost 6%. So I think this is concrete data that these lighter, stronger wheels are bringing more efficiency and will bring more range. Wrap up the review and all the testing, everything that we did for the Martian MW03 wheels. As you guys realize, uh, between uh, four to almost 6% efficiency improvement uh, overall, which is great. So uh, for a product, I'm gonna rank it a five these uh, these wheels are fully forged they're light uh, I think you know they look great in terms of installation um, the good news is that everything is completely compatible you can use your existing lug nuts um, they will mount it for you if you want I'm gonna give that a five obviously you have to probably go somewhere to, to have it done but you know really there's no glitches you don't need spacers or anything um, in terms of functionality I think that the data shows for itself and those kind of results are what you can expect. Uh, I can tell you that the car actually drives lighter as well. So 
Um, I'm super happy with these things. I think you can you can definitely tell. I'd give that a five. And then the last one is really the price value. And these are not inexpensive. The rims are about $650 each. But if you really look at what's out there for fully forged and even flow forged, which is not as strong a process, um, you can spend a lot more money. So I'm going to give that a four overall. I actually think they're quite a good value, uh, even though they're, you know, they're not inexpensive. So that's total score of 19. Thanks again for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Bye.